Hi, first graders. Alrighty, we're on our last day of week one of unit three. So we're on unit three, week one, day five. So last day of this part of the unit. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with a warm up like every day. We always start with a warm up, right? Alrighty, so here we go. C, K, V, V. F, I, I, T, H, thumb, C, K, sock, K, S, H, ship, sh, J, J, Y, Y. Good. Alrighty, so the next thing we're going to do is something that we did the other day. We're gonna do a quick trick word drill. We don't have too many words yet, so I'm gonna point, you say as fast as you can remember. Ready? The, and, into, has, of, His two as. Oh, we almost forgot. Is. Good. We're getting really good at those trick words. And don't forget, in your teacher's classroom, they'll be hang up, hung up on the wall as well. So don't spell those ones wrong. Okay. So today, I put some words on this wall. And I want to see if we can figure out what the words are because four of them are our word of the day. So we should be able to recognize those ones. So this word, let's tap it. Ready? X fix. Good. So we figured that one out. This one isn't a word of the day, but I added it in there for us. Uh, mm, fun. Sh uh, shut. Qu it quit. Ad had. Okay. Go right here. Mm, uh, d, mud. And mm, uh, ch, much. Good. So right now, I want you to look at this wall. Find a word that has a buddy letter. Do you see anything that has a buddy letter in it? Did you say quit? Q U. Those are buddy letters, so we circle them together. Good. We found the buddy letter. Can you find the word that starts with a digraph? So a word where the digraph is at the beginning. Did you say shut? Because you're correct. See how the digraph is at the beginning, so I underlined it. Good. Can you find a word where the digraph is at the end of the word? If you said much, you're correct. I underlined the digraph and the word was much. Great work, friends. And the last thing we're going to do today is read a story. And the way we're going to read this is a little different if you're in school. So at home, you're going to follow along. It's called something, but I need to tap it. Ready? K odd cod fish fish. Good. So I'm going to underline the SH digraph. 
to remind me that those letters are stuck together. And we're gonna read it one sentence at a time. Okay? Jack had a net to get a codfish for Jed the cat. So that's a period right there. And it's a little blurry. Okay. Jack had a net to get a codfish for Jed the cat. Practice that one more time. Jack had a net to get a codfish for Jed the cat. Good. Jack sat on a rock with his net. Jack sat on a rock with his net. Jack sat on a rock with his net. See, every time we read a sentence, we get a little bit better and better at reading it. Jed sat on a log. That's an easy sentence. Jed sat on a log. Jed sat on a log. And each time we scoop, we get a little bit more fluent. That means that you're reading it better and better. So we're gonna end here with the exclamation point, even though it's not a period. Jack had the luck. Jack had the luck. He was quick with the net. 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 He got the cod fish. He got the cod fish. He got the cod fish. Jed had a dish of fish. Jed had a dish of fish. Jed had a dish of fish. And then the end is yum, yum. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning now that we've scooped out the whole thing and see if we can read it together. Jack had a net to get a codfish for Jed the cat. Jack sat on a rock with his net. Jed sat on a log. Jack had the luck. He was quick with the net. He got the codfish. Jed had a dish of fish. Yum. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is I want you to pause the video. I'll get out of the way so you can see it. And I want you to practice reading this a few more times with somebody at home. I really want you to practice scooping the sentences and getting more and more fluent. Fluent just means that you're getting better at scooping and you're getting better at reading it a little bit faster with correct words. And you're, when you see an exclamation point, Jack had the luck. You get excited. When you see a period, you end. When you see a period, take a little breath, take a little pause, and then continue, okay? And when you're done practice reading it, I want you to tell, this, tell somebody in your house who was in the story, what were they doing, and where were they doing it, okay? Who was in the story, what were they doing, and where were they? Those are your three questions to answer to somebody at your house. Alrighty, 
and we could, you could think about all the places that you find the digraphs. So if you see the digraphs, you can point them out, right? There's a lot of digraphs in here. Jack has a lot. Look, quick, quick. Right? We could go on and on. Good. Alrighty, first graders. So that wraps it up. I told you today's lesson was going to be really kind of short because um, we had our story. So I will get out of the way so you can pause the video if you want to on this screen. And have a great day. See you soon.